What's up everybody? I'm sure by now you've seen this new picture hanging in the background of my new videos. Wanted to give you a little bit of an insight because it's not random, it's not arbitrary. There is a story behind this as to why this picture means so much to me that I have it hanging in the background of my videos now. I'm gonna do a full studio tour once I'm finished with it, but wanted to give you a little bit of insight into it because I think it's a really cool picture and I like the background, the story behind it. First, before we dive into that, I need to read to you a speech. It's called The Man in the Arena. It's by Teddy Roosevelt. You've probably heard it. It is my favorite speech of all time and gives you some insight into where we're going with this video. The Man in the Arena. It is not the critic who counts. Not the man who points out how the strong man stumbles or where the doer of deeds could have done them better. The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, who strives valiantly, who errs, who comes short again and again because there's no effort without error and shortcoming, but who does actually strive to do the deeds who knows great enthusiasms, the great devotions, who spends himself in a worthy cause, who at best knows in the end the triumph of high achievement, and who at the worst, if he fails, at least he fails while daring greatly, so that his place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who neither know victory nor defeat. Now this speech I just love because it speaks to kind of the core, the heart, the passion inside of entrepreneurship, the fighting spirit inside of man, the competitive nature to move ahead. And it speaks against any of the negative voices that people will throw your way to try and stop you from achieving that a lot of times those voices come from within inside yourself as well to try and say, hey, you're not good enough to do this or people are gonna think you're ridiculous, you're moving outside, stay in your lane, uh, just stick to what you know. And there have been many times in my life where I've felt very satisfied and really prideful with myself because I've succeeded at things. And there was a time probably about probably about four years ago when I looked and I said, okay, here's the things that I feel you know proud of accomplishing with my life. And then I started to think about what are the things that I've uh, failed out and not accomplished. And I couldn't think of any. And uh, that's not because I had been doing so many great things and I was just awesome at it. It's because I was shooting too low. This is something I've said quite a few times that if you succeed at everything in your life, it's not because you're great, it's because you're aiming too low and you're only attempting the things at which you know you can succeed. So you don't know where the bar is. You're holding yourself back because you're afraid of failure and you're afraid of what people might think of you if you try to do something and you don't succeed at it. And so moving out of my comfort zone there and actually trying to do things that I had never done before and I didn't know if I could do and then failing and looking like an idiot over and over and over again is what started to push, actually push me forward. And so it's only when you like become a kid again, like push yourself into situations where you know nothing about it and try really hard and fail over and over and over over again that you actually see any real progress in your life and this is not coming from a standpoint of like a, a preachy thing this is like what I've experienced that once I started to push myself into the areas that were really uncomfortable that I was really bad at and I failed at over and over and over again that's when I started to see you know some actual progress and so it was the, it's a failure that pushes me forward anyway a uh, little bit of tangent there all that to say that about two and a half years ago I was on a date with my wife and we were walking through this secondhand furniture store while we were waiting for our reservation next door. And I saw this picture hanging on the wall. It's this picture of a boxer in a ring by himself. And I'm not one to get like emotional about art. Most art I actually hate. Most art I look at it and think that's not actually art. That's just something a toddler could have thrown some paint onto a giant canvas and now some narcissistic uh, <laughs> person is trying to claim that you should think that that is some elite and high class art that you should spend a lot of money on. And it's just absolute garbage. 
But there are some things that every once in a while just grab my attention for whatever reason. And it, it really is that it's it's not the other way around where I've decided, hey, I, I want something. I like something. I mean, I've never really been into, you know, I've never really been into boxing uh, myself, you know, as a sport or anything. So um, it's not like a, a an interest that I've imposed on it. It was like I saw this and it just grabbed me. And so I looked at it and looked at it and instantly the stuff that started rushing through my head was stuff like uh, the man in the arena speech, because, you know, it's a guy, it's a fighter. He's in the arena. He's in the ring. And a couple of things about this. Well, number one, he's by himself in the ring. Number two, he's by himself in the whole room, in the building. And so it's this fighter. It's this boxer who's training. Everybody has gone home. Uh, the lights are off. The janitor is not there anymore. He's literally in the ring by himself. So it shows um, the other thing about it is that he is in the ring by himself and boxing. It's a competitive sport there to, in order to in order to box. You, there's got to be two people in the ring. Right. And so immediately this wave of thoughts started rolling over me that number one in the fight, like in life, it looks like, you know what? I, you know, the thoughts that started popping into my head is there's nobody actually against you. You're in the arena by yourself and there's no big enemy that you're fighting. There's no big, you know, force against you. Really, it's all up to yourself. You are your own enemy. And so in order to advance, you have to put in the work by yourself. There's nobody left in the building. He's all by himself in there. You have to put in the work when it's not glamorous, when you're failing, when you're swinging at the air and you're not landing any punches and you're training by yourself when there's no glamour. Nobody's saying, oh, look at how great this guy is that's working so hard. It's putting in the hours that nobody will ever see. I mean, I probably made 200 YouTube videos by myself that I knew like nobody, relatively speaking, would ever see. It was just about putting in the reps so that I could get somewhat good at talking to a camera in an office by myself. Absolutely unglamorous work, you know, hours at night, editing my own videos, learning how to edit and learning how to do little things that were very difficult for me, like jump cuts. And it, so it, it was it just all these thoughts started washing over me and it just it just hit me. And so we left and I couldn't stop thinking about this picture that was that was uh, that was there for a couple of weeks, actually. So we, I ended up calling back because when I was in there, you know, I looked at the price. It was like two hundred dollars. I was like, that's stupid but I'm never going to pay $200 for a piece of art. So we left and then two weeks go by. I couldn't stop thinking about it. So I called him and I was like, hey, uh, you had this on the wall. Do you still have that? And he said, no, I'm sorry, we sold it. I was like, oh, do you know I, I, by any chance where you got it from? And they said, no, we have no idea. And so I started to <laughs> start Googling to try and find the uh, the source of this picture. Um, and you can imagine how hard it would be to find a picture like <laughs> like this, like you're Googling this man in a boxing ring by himself, like man in a boxing, uh, uh, a boxing ring alone, like all the stock images and free photos and everything like that, that are going to come up from all of the, you know, hundreds of thousands of fights that have been photographed and everything like that. So it was ridiculous, but I finally tracked down this photo and was able to get to the gallery website of the photographer who took it. And I was able to get his email address. I contacted him. I said, hey, do you by any chance sell this? I'd like to buy a print from you. And he said it was going to I don't remember the exact price, somewhere around $1,000. So I was like, you know, what? I'll, I'll, I'll contact you later on and just kept it on my list kind of in the back of my mind. And then uh, this this past year for my birthday, my uh, my wife wanted to get it for me. And so she had to go through the exact same process. She couldn't find it because she couldn't ask me. She was trying to surprise me with it. So she was uh, trying to Google for, Google it. She couldn't find it. And she remembered that I had uh, emailed him. So she took my iPad and she you know found the email, got the email address and emailed him. And he said, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not selling it anymore. She's like, you don't know how much I've had to go through to finally track you down again for a second time. Uh, she's like, will you please make an exception? And so he made an exception for her, printed it, shipped it to her. She gave it to me for my birthday. Um, and uh, so I've held on to it until I, because I knew we were going to, I was going to be setting up a new studio soon, got it framed and hung it up. And so this photo really means a lot to me because it represents to me the journey of the entrepreneur, the journey of the person who fights, who strives to achieve something. It's the embodiment of that uh, man in the arena speech because like there's nobody here. So 
in real life, you're going to feel like there's critics out there, your family, your parents, your siblings, your spouse, your kids, your friends, the people online, you know, the, 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 the trolls in their underwear in their mom's basement. They're going to be talking. And guess what? It's not the critic who counts. Really in life, we're all by ourselves in the ring. There's nobody that we're fighting against. So the progress is made when we put in those hours by ourselves and we achieve those things. And no matter what, even if you get to the to the real competition, the things that actually matter, and when you're in the arena and, you, and then you fail, uh, guess what? That's where the real growth comes from. And whether you fail or win, at least, like Teddy Roosevelt said, you are not with the vast majority of humanity who are lumped into the category of those poor and timid souls who neither know victory nor defeat. Because it's far more honorable to strive for something and fail than to just never try anything and accidentally succeed at a few low bar things here and there. So that's why I have this photo of the boxer in the arena, in the ring, by himself, on my office. It embodies the true spirit of the hardworking entrepreneur, the American spirit, the striving and fighting and competing for building something more, regardless of what the outcome might be, because you're taking a big risk. The, the success is not guaranteed. And so that is what makes it such an honorable fight. And that's why I have this picture hanging in the background. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a good day.